Hi guys, it's Welps. So I just hit level 100 in Season Pass today and I just wanted to share with you guys how to level Season Pass effectively and where I farmed. Okay, so in Season 2, the most effective way to level Season Pass was to complete 3 cards and go next. Um, in Season 3, we have a new system called Wild Stamps. This allows you to complete any card on the board and if you complete a line, you get one stamp back. Um, with this new system, the most effective way to level Season Pass is to complete the whole board and I'm going to show you how to do it. Okay, so your first aim is to complete at least 6 cards without completing the line. And then we just use Wild Stamps to complete the whole board like this. That's it, and our wild stamps are full again. So you go for 6 cards and then complete the board. And if you have any Season Pass XP booster, this only increases passive XP you gain and it's best to use during influence races. Okay, so the place where I farmed my Season Pass is at the Bullseye Outpost in Elysian Wilds. It took me about 3 hours uh, from level 30 to 100 from this place. There is one requirement though, uh, which is 205 skinning. Otherwise, you might have to use some Azot Vials to reroll activities. Uh, I suggest specking for decks and bring Spear, Hatchet, bow and fire staff for weapon kills it's just more convenient because you can use spear for uh, two-handed melee weapon kills hatchet for one hand weapon kills bow for bow kills and fire staff for fire staff kills uh, you only need to tag with the required weapon to get the credit so for example if you have to kill with magic you just hit once with the fire staff and then kill with the dex weapon um, you'd also like to bring uh, raw gypsums to craft gypsum orbs uh, there's gypsum kiln in the town for salvaging tier 5 items, you can either stock up on some cheap ones from trading post or if you still have umbral shards from season 2, you can salvage that as well. So basically you do all the weapon kill ones and killing the beast, uh, it's all beasts around this place. Um, there's also like some rabbits and um, beetles here for easy kills and you want to do the skinning ones, uh, they also count towards tier 5 gathering, you get a lot of dark hides from this place. Sport pod gathering. There is a sport pod on my ping right here. Salvaging tier fives and crafting just some orbs. So you should be able to complete at least six cards within the first free reroll. Then complete the board using the wild stamps. Alright guys, I hope this was helpful and see you on the next one.